Welcome back everyone. In last video we learnt about the elements and attributes. In this video we will discuss about the basic tags that is headings and paragraphs. Let's start with the headings. Heading tags are used for purpose of headings and subheadings. The headings stand out from the rest of the content in the page and are often used to improve the readability of the document. In HTML there are 6 levels of headings H1 to H6 while H1 being the largest and H6 being the smallest in size. Let's now see how we use this in the HTML code. Open Sublime Text Editor, and last time we typed all declaration tags of cells, but there is a shortcut for that. Just to do this, type HTML and press Enter, and you will get the all declaration tags automatically. In last video, we had the title as my first page, so we continue with the same. Type my first page here, and now let's try out all the heading tags. Type H1. This is a level one heading. Similarly, do this for rest of the file. Now save the document. Let's see the output in the browser. Open the HTML file, and now see there are six headings with six different sizes. Next up, we will discuss the paragraphs. As the name suggests, it is used to display the paragraphs of text. For paragraphs, we use p tag. The p tag is used to display a block of text in the web page. So let's create a paragraph tag. Type p. This is an example of paragraph. And close the tag. For the purpose of big paragraph, I'm just copying and pasting it. Let's have another paragraph tag to understand the difference. Just refresh the page. See here, there are two paragraphs and they are separated by white line in between them. You can use br tag if you want to make a line break. That is a new line in the paragraph. Insert the br tag anywhere in the paragraph. Br. Just save the document and refresh the page. See here, there is a line break here, and rest of the content is shifted to the next line. We can also use another B tag for the purpose of understanding. And just refresh the page. And now we can see the change in the web page. And that's all for this video. Thank you. Happy learning.